In this video, we will see why differential privacy requires randomization. The basic idea of differential privacy is that the presence of any individual user in a database should not be detectable by any attacker, or rather, it should not be guessable by any attacker. And the key to guarantee this is to demand that the probability of a result R to a differentially private request be about the same whether the user is deleted from the database or not. And so the actual theorem is that any differential private deterministic mechanism has to be trivial. If this is not the case, it means that for some values of x, m of x takes some value r, and for some other value y, then m of y may take some other value r prime. And the reason for this is that if r is different from r prime, then the thing is that we can get a series of databases that basically remove each user of x one at a time and then adds each user to the database one at a time to get to the database y. And thus we get a chain of databases that always only differ by one in terms of L1 norm. And since at one end we had m of x is equal to r and since at the other hand we have m of y equals to r prime and since r is different from r prime there must be some switch here at, at which point the result flipped and stopped being r and so we call s what it became and thus this means that when we moved from the database z here to the database z prime here then the value of the mechanism has completely changed. And so the removal of one user or the addition of one user has completely changed the result. And this means that an attacker who knows the answer of the mechanism can fully determine whether the user that has been removed or added is in the database or not. And this breaks privacy. And this argument is the reason why differential privacy requires randomization.